Hi, my name is Anthony Fleming and I hope you're having a good day so far. Thanks so much for checking out my video clip, I really appreciate it. I guess explaining what I do encompasses videography and live streaming whilst also offering a DJ service. Sometimes they can tie in together which works out quite nicely and it means that I can have the crack with the couple for the whole day. So I guess I'll just touch on a few aspects of the way I operate during this video to give you an idea of my flow for a wedding day. So I generally begin the morning of a wedding around two and a half hours before the ceremony with the lads or whoever happens to be designated as the first to walk down the aisle in same-sex weddings. It's nice to arrive a little early, say hi, break the ice, crack a few jokes and it begins the bonding process for the day. And for many people having somebody with wedding experience that shows up in the morning is both reassuring and can be handy for any last minute questions. Now, the word bonding I'm using there isn't a coincidence. 90% of wedding suppliers chat and have the banter with couples because like a wedding morning is full of fun, chat, expectations, and a little bit of nerves. The chat between hair and makeup people, photographers, and video people, along with little gems of last minute advice and funny stories, help to kind of add to the buzz on the day, and it sets the day off to an exciting start. As the day moves along, people find themselves less noticing the people documenting the day, as when you're in the wedding crew and you're having a laugh, people just stop noticing the camera. Leaving the lads at the first house, I move along to the bride or the second house and get some shots of all the little bits and pieces that have been planned for months in advance. From the jewellery to the shoes, the hair accessories, oftentimes a little memento of a loved one that may no longer be there to share the day. I do my best to discreetly capture each and every little touch that makes a wedding unique. And from there, it's onto the makeup and the Prosecco and the crack and the bridal party with the all important uh, fitting of the dress. I guess one small difference in timings between videographers and photographers is the arrival at the ceremony venue. Being a videographer means having a little extra equipment for sound and in some cases for broadcasting or live streaming as it's been known for the last while. Depending on what's required, I'd usually have to arrive maybe 45 minutes to an hour before the ceremony. It just means that I have enough time to get everything set up, have it all running and tidy and that will be in time then to get the guests arriving and film that part of the day. So for the bride, this could be lovely to see afterwards as obviously when you're not there, you're missing out on the buzz, the chat, the smiles and the excitement. Having the videographer capture this is like an extra set of eyes and it's great to be able to see all that action afterwards. So with everything all set up and the day documented so far, it's time for the main event. My priority for the ceremony is to record what's going on in as discreet a fashion as possible. But with the excitement and with all the people dying to get a first look, the videographer and the photographer would normally have to position themselves at the top of the aisle for a clear view. It's probably the only time in the day that you may notice us as it's possibly the most important shot with the bridal party coming up the aisle, but it's worth it. Once the couple have had that incredible moment and seen each other and had that first kiss and greeting and maybe even a tear, I'd normally pull off to the side and try my best to become invisible for the duration of the ceremony. For the rest of the day, my own personal approach is to let the photographer take the lead and direct the couple for the pictures, while continuing the fun and banter, sometimes having the crack with the photographer. You don't want any more than one person directing and allowing the photographer to coordinate helps the flow of the day to continue. So the video product that I produce is, is almost like an over the shoulder overview of whatever the photographer sets up. I generally get on really well with photographers and sometimes wise cracks and laughs between us can help what's already a super day be even more fun. So I usually follow on then for the photo session after the ceremony and once the photo session is over I run to the car as quick as I can so I try and be back at the reception venue before the couple to get them arriving and receiving their much deserved glass of bubbly. So once everyone is settled and the couple are mingling, I head around and I do my best to get the guests giving a wave and a cheers to the camera. These moments are lovely to have and couples cherish this later. It's in the years to come that being able to look back at the friends and family are so important. So next up, I move on to the room and I get all the centerpieces and little personal touches there. I'd also take a few moments to prepare the sound equipment for the speeches. Last of all come the speeches and the dancing which I'd normally cover until 10.45, leaving the venue at 11 unless of course I'm DJing. 
I was DJing for many years before I got into video, so that's how I ended up being a DJing videographer. And funnily enough, I guess the biggest advantage of being with the couple all day is that once the DJing part arrives, they'd normally have given a few requests or spoken about songs when they first met or at happy times with their friends. It's like it can help the DJ part just be that little bit more personal as well. So that's a lot of information guys and I hope I haven't spoken too long in this video. The final two questions people would ask would be delivery times would be probably the first one. So in a normal year it's approximately 16 weeks as believe it or not the hardest part of doing a wedding video is the editing. It takes around one week to edit a wedding video. You could do it faster but to do a good job that's, that's approximately the lead time per video. And if you're doing a number of weddings a year the backlog builds up quite fast. And the final question people ask sometimes is as regards payment. So deposit is normally paid on booking with the remaining payment made on the day. Most couples are quite happy with that. Um, so I deliver a long format wedding video which covers the whole day as I explained already. It's accompanied by a cinematic highlights, some of the clips which I've shown here whilst I've been talking. It's like the, the cinematic highlights, it's like the whole wedding day set to a song of your choice. Personally, I love weddings, I love the fun, the excitement, the hope for the future that are part of each couple's day. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching, I'd love to hear from you. My email is mcfleming at live.ie or for any further information you might like, you can check out my website. It's at www.anthonyflemingproductions.com. So listen, have a great day, thank you so much, good luck with your planning and if you did watch the whole video, thank you so much, I really appreciate it.